Good evening. All right, Bill. If we can get Bill to sit down, we'll get started. All right, we'll do a couple quick announcements. Um, Deanne Powell had shoulder surgery, I guess this was Monday before last, um, so please pray for her recovery. Bill and Karen Farley's son, Luke Cooper, had his surgery at UAMS. Um, he did great. The mass was the size of an orange, most likely not cancer, but it was sent off for biopsy. And I don't see Miss Karen or Mr. Bill to ask if we've got results yet. Um, so please keep him in your prayers. Um, December the 31st will be our fifth Sunday contribution. Um, so please be prayerful about what you're giving. Um, keep that in mind. Um, help us hopefully pay off that smaller note, maybe by the end of the year. I know that would make Steve happy if we pay it off by the end of the year. Um, there will be a New Year's Eve Youth Devo um, at our house. Um, we are going to let the kids stay until 12 um, so we can watch the ball drop or whatever they want to do. So we will do that at our house. Um, we'll have more details coming. Um, are there any other announcements that I've missed? All like 20 of you that are here. No? Okay. We'll, we'll have a quick prayer and we'll get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and all the many blessings in it. We ask you to be with all those that are sick and ailing and help them get back to the much wanted and needed health. And we ask that you be with each and every one of those that are represented here and help them to live a life um, that brings furtherance to your kingdom. Please forgive us when we fail thee and give us a home in heaven thee in the end. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. And then just to clarify, our singing night is next week. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. And so shall I be saved from mine enemies. The Lord liveth. And blessed be the rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord liveth, and blessed be the rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, he died for me. And he took away my sin. I will live with him for eternity. <clears throat> the Lord liveth, and blessed be the rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord liveth. And blessed be the rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. I will call upon the Lord. <clears throat> Over all the earth you reign on high, every mountain stream every sunset sky but my one request lord my only aim is that you reign in me again lord reign in me reign in your power over all my dreams in my darkest hour you are the lord of all i am so won't you reign in me again over every thought, over every word. May my life reflect the beauty of my Lord, cause you mean more to me than any earthly thing. So won't you reign in me again? Lord, reign in me, reign in your power over all my dreams. In my darkest 
get up in the morning if you're like me you wait till your wife tells you breakfast is ready and then you get up <laughs> but I know not everybody has that option <laughs> but you know do you get do you get up and take a shower you know do you go through your process of getting dressed and it's it's something we do it's, we all have habits and it's something we do every day to get mentally prepared for the day and for me, when I wake up and go through that whole process, I'm thinking about everything I need to do that day and kind of get my head wrapped around what I'm going to be doing at work and if I need to run any errands or anything like that. And sometimes it can be a little, little overwhelming. But once you, once you get out of bed, that's, for me, that's the hard part. Once you get out of bed and get started and you start going through that process and it you get your day started but one thing that you can do to make that for me make that process a little bit better is you start the day with with the Lord and in Psalms 27 8 he says seek my face at the beginning of the day this practice helps you to put him on throughout the day and the sooner you do do that through communication with him the better prepared I am through the day Psalms 46:10 tells us let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you when we open ourselves early in the morning to him and he's the first thing on our mind the day starts with balance and patience for the things that are to come because he's walking every step with us and we are walking every step with him. By doing this, we are essentially dressing our spirit with the Lord. We are wearing him. Ask the spirit to control your thoughts, actions, decisions, and steps in your prayers. And for me, that helps me through the day. Romans 13, 14. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh in regard to its lust. With this, we are equipped to face whatever people and situations are brought our way throughout the day. Clothing our mind in him is our best preparation for the day. Paul states in Colossians 3:12, so as those who have been chosen of God, holy and beloved, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. So tomorrow as you wake up and think about your day, remember you don't have to tackle the day alone. The Lord and all his power are behind you every step of the way. All we have to do is take advantage of that. We just have to embrace and live what God, how God wants us to live and ask him for the help that we need throughout the day through prayer or, or Bible devotion or however, whatever works for you there. But if we'll start today by choosing God, it'll make our day go, go a whole lot better. If there's anyone that needs any prayers or concerns about themselves, come forward while we stand and sing. On bended knee I come With a humble heart I come Bowing down before your holy throne, lifting holy hands 
to you as I pledge my love anew. I worship you in spirit. I worship you in truth. Make my life a holy praise unto Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for letting us come here tonight to have this time of worship and fellowship with one another. Dear God, please help us to, to think about you from the start of our day to the end of our day. Help us to, to lean on you for strength. And please, dear God, also help us to, to provide fellowship and strength for our, our fellow believers. Dear God, thank you for everything you've given us. And thank you most of all that you sent your son to die on the cross, that we have a means to be forgiven of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> 